Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of RST1 Scenarios about Beautiful. Now, it's been a while, but I think it's time to do another one of these uh, videos. In today's videos, I'm going to tackle the scenario Mystic Mountain, or I believe it's called Mothball Mountain in the American version. So, um, in the hilly forest of Mystic Mountain, build a theme park from scratch. Now, um, to be fair, I never really got the appeal of this scenario. It's quite cramped. The uh, landscape's pretty difficult to work with. And yeah, it's one of those typical scenarios that I always just got over with. And for this uh, video, I don't, actually don't want to make it very beautiful. So the title may be a little bit misleading, but instead, uh, yeah, I want to make it look sort of like industrial. And a vibe that would go really well with this park, I think, uh, would be to make it... Actually, let me close that. Would be to um, yeah, make it sort of look like a, like an abandoned uh, factory, something like that. I think that would uh, work pretty well in this area. So yeah, I'm going to uh, make it look a little bit run down, a bit overgrown. And the attractions, I'm going to try and make them fit right in. Kind of like the attractions at Alton Towers, which uh, some of them may look a little bit camouflaged or rusty or stuff like that. I think that uh, that feel will work really well for this park. Anyway, um, as per usual, um, I will start by flattening out the edges of the park a little bit. And then I'll build uh, my own fence around the park. Because I never really like these standard uh, park fences. So uh, yeah, let's start with that and I think I can me immediately also build a nice proper entrance for the park. Let's go! Okay, the park now has a perimeter fence around it. I also removed all the stuff that's in the park since I'm going to be building over it anyway. Uh, so yeah, here you can see I just put some uh, of the fe these fences together. It's a little brick wall, some of these mesh fences on top, some poles on the outside. And then uh, I just put a few of these wooden fences uh, to connect them, especially on some of these uh, sloped parts. Uh, yeah, also in some straight parts, and I think it just looks like uh, some cheap repairs were done, done to this wall. Which I think uh, actually looks perfect. I think they actually work uh, pretty well together. Now, um, this uh, entrance really bare bones uh, compared to how elaborate I usually make them. Uh, you can see some of these uh, entertainers which I froze here in a guest costume. Uh, there are the guys uh, checking the tickets for the guests. Just three uh, pots over here, and right Next to it, here's a little ticket uh, counter. I also put the sign here and I put some spaces in between the text so it looks like the E is uh, missing. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just a little detail which uh, I think works uh, great for a park uh, like this. Which is supposed to look a little bit uh, run down. Alright, with that done, um, I think I can work on a general path layout for the park. I'm just going to uh, make some paths. Probably going to make a little bridge over here to this side. And potentially also a bridge over here. We could maybe make a diagonal one. And then when that's done, I think I can start uh, working on a first ride for the park. Okay, here we have the first coaster of the park. Uh, I called it Neglect. 
Uh, if that name doesn't scare off any potential riders, I don't know what will. Um, so yeah, the layout of the ride, uh, right out of the station, the trains travel up this vertical lift hill, very typical of a Eurofighter. Um, then there's a beyond vertical drop into a large loop. Then here there's uh, another half large loop into this uh, element, so it kind of looks like an uh, Immelmann. I used a bit of trickery here to uh, get uh, the cars to uh, go around this vertical track or turn around here a bit faster than they would do normally. Um, over here we have a large zero G roll. Then over here there's a tunnel right under the path. I think that this provides some great uh, uh, path interaction. I quite like how the guests are actually watching the ride here. Now then here there's this uh, large half helix around the park entrance plaza so again some great ride interaction we can see some more guests watching the ride i think that's uh, really cool and then finally um, here there's a double barrel roll into a stacked helix no i don't use stacked helixes very often but here um i think it's uh, warranted i think this will be a nice uh, final element here for the ride as long as you don't overdo it, I think uh, you can get away with using uh, stacked helixes. So over here, I believe this is a 540 degree uh, turn. I think this is a nice finish for the ride. Now the ride uh, still needs to be decorated a bit. Um, I want to make this tower here look a little bit more sturdy. Um, yeah, this uh, needs some more support. Of course, the station, or uh, the ride also needs a station. The queue needs some more decoration, and especially these parts over here. Um, yeah, they can. Uh, they also need some decoration as well. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, basically, just uh, gonna make this ride look a little bit nicer. Okay, the Eurofighter coaster now has been decorated. So here we can see the station building. So let me hide the entrance, which you can still see. <laughs> this actually might look uh, pretty nice. Um, but here you can see the station building. Kind of tried to make it look like an old factory. You can see, some, see a smokestack here. Uh, the roof, I tried to lay it out like uh, you would typically see in very old factories. No, the coaster also passes through it here. Uh, I think it's always nice to have a little fly through in the station. And also the uh, vertical lift hill. I also uh, made it look a little bit more sturdy. So here you can see this uh, launch free fall track. Uh, with also with some single rail track here uh, as some extra supports. Also some cog wheels on top just to make it look a little bit more interesting. I think that looks uh, pretty cool. A little bit of glitching here but... Uh, Let's just uh, pretend it uh, it isn't there. There we go. Hey, um, also uh, did a little bit of landscaping here. Didn't do too much in the form of scenery here. Maybe place a tree or two, but uh, other than that, I did just try to make it look a little bit messy and overgrown. Now, um, what I want to do over here is actually make some buildings around this entrance plaza. Um, I think it will be nice for the guests here to have some uh, places where they can uh, buy some food and drinks. Maybe also a souvenir uh, shop, something like that. I think that uh, will definitely uh, make this area look more complete. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, we now have several shops and stalls over here. So over here we have a little souvenir uh, shack. <laughs> it's more like a shack than a stall. And in it there's this souvenir shop and a t-shirt stall. And the t-shirt stall actually sells dark brown t-shirts. So uh, I think that uh, definitely contributes to the atmosphere in this uh, park. The gloomy atmosphere, I should say. Um, over here we have ice cream. So it sells iced tea and ice cream. Uh, here I made the burger factory. So yeah, I think it uh, fits the atmosphere of this uh, of this park pretty well. So it's a little factory, and of course uh, burger factory. So they sell burgers and soda as well. So I made some of these uh, um, yes yeah, benches uh, in here, or some tables, uh, which you can see when we use the cutaway view. Over here we have a little building called Deadliest Catch. So it uh, catches uh, fish from uh, this little uh, pond here with stagnant water. So uh, probably very healthy. <laughs> Over here we have bar stocks. Um, it sells coffee and cookies. And it's definitely not based on a real uh, brand. And over here we have some uh, toilets for the guests. Now I also added uh, two more rides over here where we can see a little spiral slide uh, nobody seems to be actually riding it. Uh, people want something more thrilling. And over here I built this uh, twister ride called Old Rusty. Yeah, with this the park's already coming together quite nicely I think. Um, I think I want to focus now on this area over here, on the other side of the of the water. And I definitely want to fit some kind of coaster over here. And I think I'm going to go for some kind of compact coaster. I think a Gerslauer bobsled would uh, uh, fit here really nicely. Alright, uh, I've added two more attractions to this area of the park. Over here you can see this Gerslauer bobsled called Abandon, uh, I mean Decay. <laughs> And here we can see the launched freefall called Abandon. I have mixed up the names uh, temporarily. But yeah, um, just a really simple station for this coaster. A nice queue tucked away here in the middle of this uh, coaster layout. Little building here for the transfer track. And I think uh, this launch freefall is also pretty nice. I quite like how it's uh, here, how it pops out here in the middle of this path. Kind of like the one in uh, Mel's world. Okay, um, well, we don't really have much space left in the park. So what's uh, left to do is just to fill up these uh, areas with some filler rides. Now, um, I really do want to have uh, a shoestring in the park. So uh, we can probably make like a jet ski ride here in the middle of this water. Uh, I think this area does deserve uh, a water ride. And uh, over here we can probably make some kind of uh, bungee jump uh, attraction. Uh, in, the junk in the junkyard park, uh, I believe it was Millennium Mines, there I made uh, a crane where guests could actually bungee jump from it. I think that uh, would also fit really well in a park like that. So with uh, those last two rides, um, I think the park will be pretty much filled up. And then it's just a matter of uh, decorating the area a little bit more here and there.
Alright, I've added three more rides. Over here you can see this jet ski ride here in the, in the water. Lots of uh, overgrown plants around it. Also put some plants here on the platform. I think it uh, actually looks pretty nice. Uh, over here I made this bungee jump ride. So you see this crane over here. And here you can see one guest uh, who will be um, yeah, dropping down several times. Now the ride has pretty, pretty terrible capacity since it can only have one guest in it. Uh, so I didn't make the queue too long. Also made a lift here which uh, goes up and down continuously. Well, yeah, it has a minimum waiting time so it doesn't go too often. But yeah, I think it just adds uh, to... Uh, yeah, it just uh, makes the ride look a little bit more complete, I think. Uh, it does look a little bit silly when the guest gets on the ride because uh, they will walk... Uh, through the air here and then pop up over here but uh, yeah I cannot be bothered to actually fix that okay now over here you can see this uh, ferris wheel that I've added um, well, the park maybe has a little bit of a brown overload um, I'll, uh, I'll try to find some nice uh, colors for it I think uh, this actually works well, yeah, just uh, your standard uh, shoestring ferris wheel. So actually, I uh, added lots of shoestring rides uh, at the end. Uh, these all have uh, some form of shoestring. But yeah, it wouldn't be a Dirkling Park uh, without some shoestring rides, of course. Alright, um, yeah, with those last three rides added, I don't think uh, I can really cram in any more rides in a nice looking way. So uh, all that's left to do now is to add some final detailing. And of course, uh, since this is the RST1 but Beautiful series, all my patrons will be included in the park as an entertainer. Now, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of patrons, so it may be a little bit overcrowded with entertainers in the end. But uh, I will make sure that uh, all my patrons get a spot in the park. Alright, um, I will do this detailing off camera since I'll be going all throughout the park and everywhere and that probably wouldn't really look nice in the time lapse. Alright, the park is now completed. Now uh, I think it will be fun uh, to quickly give you an overview of everything that has been built. So uh, here we have the entrance of the park. Uh, not, nothing really too fancy. Well, nothing in this park is really fancy. I tried to make it look run down a little bit. Now uh, here we have the entrance plaza with all these uh, little shops and stalls. So this will also be the place where guests get their food and drinks. We have a burger factory and several others. Um, we have some other rides uh, dispersed throughout the park. A little spiral slide over here. You can see a twist ride over here. Over here we have the Eurofighter of the park. With a big uh, beyond vertical drop. A large loop here. And I really like how it uh, twists around and over the entrance here. I think that's uh, really cool. Now over here we also have the station for the Eurofighter. Basically, I just try to make it look like a big factory. Over here we have this bungee jump ride in the form of a crane. So you can see a guest suspended here. And uh, he uh, drops down uh, several times. Now here uh, in the water we can see this uh, jet ski ride. Over here we have a big ferris wheel. Here there's a launch tree fall which actually launches from below the ground. I think that's, uh, that's some pretty cool a path interaction. And over here in the corner we have this Gerslauer bobsled coaster. So if you don't know what the Gerslauer bobsled is, it's kind of like the wild mouse coasters that Gerslauer makes. But they typically also have some large curved drops uh, and not just these 180 degree turns. But uh, you will usually also see a few of these uh, on, uh, on their coasters. And also some um, steep uh, hills like uh, the one you can see over here. Now um, as for decorations park uh, I just added lots of trees. Uh, lots of plants everywhere. And I just tried to make it look a little bit overgrown. These Japanese snowball trees they add a really nice brown uh, bush bushes here. And also some of these dead trees. I think they really add to the vibe. Now um, I also added uh, 58 entertainers to the park. I must say it was quite a challenge to uh, um, come up with good places for these entertainers. 
but uh, I tried to spread them throughout the park. Most of them actually just got a spot somewhere, like for example here in the roof. There's also a few that are just roaming through the park, and there's a few that got a spot uh, in the queues. And yeah, even then it was still uh, pretty difficult, uh, because the park is, uh, is really small. It's a pretty small scenario. So I also just made a little meetup here outside of the park. We can see some of these trucks with some uh, guests next to them. And over here you can see a little uh, volleyball field with uh, two teams. <laughs> and I like that uh, when you uh, uh, give entertainers a guest costume, uh, from every now and then they will jump up or they will wave. I think that uh, actually makes it look like they're actually playing. Now I also put some invisible uh, uh, jumping snowballs uh, over here. So uh, every now and then it will look like uh, they're actually playing with, uh, with a ball. I thought uh, that was a really fun uh, detail. All right, um, yeah, all these entertainers, uh, well, they're here for a reason, of course. And now I'm just going to name each and every one of them after one of my patrons. So let's go. Alright, all my patrons are now included in the park as an entertainer. Now, um, if you couldn't really see where you where you are in the park, I remember you can download this park from free for free from my Discord server, and then you can uh, check out the park for yourself. Which uh, is the case for all the parks uh, in this series, by the way. So uh, yeah, you can uh, you can uh, download them all if you want to see them. All right, um, well, yeah, that's going to be all the building I'm going to be doing for this episode. Um, I think it will be fun to end the episode with a ride on both of these uh, coasters. I hope you enjoyed watching me build. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel. And I'll see you again in the next video. See you later. <laughs>